Thanks so much for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the Corwinauto.com Valley Sky Cam. Part of the Storm Team Sky Cam Network, a bit of cloudiness out there and some breezy conditions, some cool temperatures, not going to get nearly as cold tonight. Last night, got down to 18 here in Fargo, 9 up in Grand Forks. We stay in the 30s overnight tonight. Right now, 40, feels more like 33, winds out of the south at 13 miles per hour elsewhere across the region. A mix of some 30s and some 40s, coolest to the east and some low 30s, Wadena, Bemidji, and Bedette. It's where the clouds have taken the longest to get into, so they were allowed to cool down just a bit. But we'll see steady to slowly rising temperatures here. Elsewhere, some steady to slowly falling temperatures as we head through the overnight hours. We'll continue to see those southerly breezes all night long, and that will keep our temperatures from dropping. That in combination with the cloud cover, generally out of the south, 5 to 15 miles per hour, with some stronger gusts over 20 miles per hour at times. Wind chills, a mix of some 20s and some 30s, 26 Bedette, 28 in Thief River Falls, also 28 in the Gwinner area. Cloud cover, we've got it out there, and we'll continue to see some variable cloudiness as we head through the overnight hours. Underneath those clouds, we are seeing a little bit of precipitation, some of this not reaching the ground where it's very light, but off towards the west, it is reaching the ground. And as this activity moves into the northern portions of the valley, could see it mixed with a little bit of sleet, maybe some snowflakes and in areas that are just cold enough or areas that have a lot of snowpack, you could see a little bit of freezing rain as well. Not anticipating much in the way of any accumulation. Just keep that in mind. You may need to scrape off the windshield if the car is parked outside. Some severe weather ongoing and flash flooding ongoing in parts of West Texas. Off towards the west, though, much of the area quiet outside of the southwest. Out towards the east, some rain making its way through the Great Lakes. Some of that heavy in southwestern Ohio and in northern portions of Kentucky. For us, those clouds, they're going to hang with us through the overnight hours. Maybe some breaks in those clouds, a few showers, a few more showers roll on through. And again, at times, could be mixed with a little bit of sleet, a little bit of snow as we head towards tomorrow morning. Now, as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, cold front makes its way on through. Along that cold front could see a few showers and temperatures falling behind that front and some strong and gusty west to northwest winds. 15 to 25 miles per hour, some gusts over 30 miles per hour. A lull in the action tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. And then as we go through time Sunday, that activity off towards the north, that sag south and southeast, giving much of the area a chance for some snow showers. Could see some minor accumulations across northern portions of the valley. Some 30s to wake up to on your Saturday. Low 40s, that front goes through around lunchtime. Temperatures falling into the afternoon to right around 40 and with those strong and gusty winds, we'll see wind chills in the upper 20s and low 30s. Picture of the day, Gigi the Abominable Doodle. This in the Goodridge area. Thanks so much to Allison for sending this in. Going to use that as the backdrop to our seven-day forecast. Windy, chance for a few rain showers and maybe mixed with a little bit of snow across the north as we head through the day on Saturday. That chance for snow showers Sunday. And again, could be some minor accumulations across northern portions of the valley. Some mid-30s. Back into the upper 40s Monday. Cooler with some snow possible in northern Minnesota Tuesday, and then the warmth returns. 50s, 60s on your Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Gigi, best picture ever. Oh, I agree. Right? Yeah. Really adorable. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Robert. You got it.